We physicists have waited a hundred years since 1916 for this photograph. I think it just makes me really excited. Every day we're finding new exciting systems that are gonna allow us to learn more about these planets. Have you ever wondered where the world would be if all we have ever known turns out to be untrue? Of course, this would be a big issue, especially when it comes to the cosmos and the universe. For one, our existence would be threatened. And probably it is right now considering the new developments in the universe. Hundreds of old galaxies that may be among the earliest objects in the universe have been revealed by the James Webb Telescope. JWST. This is considered a huge increase from the few that were previously known to exist at the time. In fact, 93% of the newly discovered galaxies that Webb spotted had never been detected before. If these galaxies were in existence, how come they were never noticed? And now that they are, what happens to our existence? Basically, what does this mean for us? Curious, right? then stay connected to this video as we analyze this new development that could change our lives. Introduction of the Webb Telescope Let's begin by knowing the telescope that almost shook grounded science. The largest, most potent and intricate telescope ever sent into space is the Webb Space Telescope. It was designed and developed long before the Hubble Space Telescope was put into orbit. The James Webb Space Telescope System Space Base component is called the Observatory. It is made up of the Spacecraft Bus, the SunShield, the Integrated Science Instrument Module, ISIM, and the Optical Telescope Element, OTE. With its extended optical range, Webb will be able to observe the first stars and galaxies to emerge in the universe, as well as look deeply into nearby dust clouds to learn more about how stars and planets form. Many scientists did not think much about this until recently. JWST spotted galaxies scientists didn't think should exist, causing chaos in the scientific world. How did this come to be? And how would these new realities affect humankind? Before going deep into these questions, it is imperative to have an in-depth knowledge of the Big Bang and the galaxies in space. The Big Bang The Big Bang Theory which proposes that the universe began from a hot, dense state about 13.8 billion years ago, is the most widely accepted cosmological model. In this hypothesis, stuff in the early cosmos clumped together under the force of gravity, leading to the formation of galaxies a few hundred million years after the Big Bang. These clusters developed into the galaxies we see today, over billions of years. This theory has been around for centuries now, which is why many scientists and even world influencers were connected when they realized that what they know or grew to know might not be the truth of reality. What does this mean for me and you? Might we need to change our present theories of the Big Bang to account for the huge galaxies that the JWST appears to have detected? Explaining the science. As of right now, the universe is thought to be 13.8 billion years old and galaxies take a while to form stars and other structures due to a variety of processes. Indeed, as early as 1 billion years after the Big Bang, the first galaxies began to take shape, according to evaluations made by the Hubble Space Telescope and other ground-based detectors. However, like evolution, JWST provided some new discoveries, which show fully developed galaxies existing at a time when the cosmos was much younger. Astronomers refer to these apparent six huge ancient galaxies, of which some are as old as the Milky Way, as the universe breakers because they have the potential to supersede existing cosmological ideas. What this practically means is that the existing idea of how galaxies develop and change throughout cosmic time is challenged by the existence of these new galaxies. This automatically means that modern scientists have more work to be done to give us what is in reality. This might be difficult because, as of right now, measurements of the universe expansion using Hubble's law and observations of the cosmic microwave background radiation CMB, 
provide the most accurate estimations of the universe's age. As a result, the first few million years following the formation of the universe are known as the impossible early galaxy problem. This has given many scientists the idea that the universe might just be way older than we think. Think about it, a galaxy older than the universe just seems impossible. Although scientists had some beliefs about what transpired during this critical time, the new telescope tested them by seeing parts of space that had never previously been viewed by humans. Many of these galaxies appeared to be enormous, full-fledged adults rather than teenagers, according to early assessments. Casey states, we have found really mature, large, bright galaxies back even farther than we predicted. Mike Boylan Colchin, a University of Texas Austin astronomer, reasoned that everything we know about cosmology is wrong at some level, if the observations from these telescopes were accurate. The study of cosmology examines the evolution of our cosmos from the beginning of time. Therefore, he says, the possibility of being mistaken about it would be pretty unpalatable. However, it would be presumptuous to conclude that the universe is older than we previously believed. It could be that our understanding of the early universe's galaxy evolution is incomplete, which is very normal if that is the case. Civilizations exist today because people were able to dispute the predecessor's theories for better solutions. In any case, more investigation and theoretical advancements are needed before scientists can draw any firm conclusions. Vera Rubin's observations of galaxies rotating at unusual speeds during the 1960s and 1970s helped pave the way for the discovery of dark matter, a massively significant and enigmatic substance that comprises 80% of all matter and serves as the universe's framework. Only when Albert Einstein reinterpreted our knowledge of gravity in the 20th century was an unexpected observation in the orbit of Mercury in the 19th century able to be resolved. These this can't possibly be right moments frequently lead scientists to new and undiscovered levels of their collective ignorance, or they uncover deeper truths. You see, it is one thing to know a situation is happening. It is another to understand why it is happening when it is happening. Like why now? Why has the James Webb Telescope found a galaxy that is 32 billion light years away if the universe is only believed to be 13.7 billion years old? We might have some answers. Maybe, maybe not. This might imply that the length of time the light would have traveled would have exceeded the duration of the universe. We could be overlooking the fact that the galaxy, Glass Z13, that emitted the light that is currently here was located approximately 13.4 billion light years away. This distance is known as the light travel distance. As a matter of fact, the galaxy that produced the JWST image did so only 300 to 400 million years after the Big Bang. As some scientists and observers have pointed out, the problem of distance in cosmology is complicated. So, just to be clear, the appropriate distance of glass Z13, 13.4 billion years ago, was roughly 3 billion light years. Nevertheless, according to the Hubble, glass Z13 continued to move away from us at an ever increasing rate, Hubble Lemaitre law due to the expansion of the universe following the Big Bang. This suggests that the galaxy was much farther away when the first light arrived, or roughly 33.3 billion light years or the present proper distance. What do you think? Of course, I cannot hear you, so you might have to drop your thoughts below in the comment section. Regardless of the theories many scientists have been building on, one thing is certain, we would not get definite answers for a while. Christina Williams, an astronomer at Norlab, says, I think we don't have enough data yet. We have to keep in mind that the amount of data produced by JWST is actually only examining a tiny fraction of the universe at the moment. We have examined extremely limited regions of the sky. William says there are a few other sources of uncertainty. One is that further substantial follow-up is needed to verify the masses and ages of many of the galaxies. Secondly, 
Williams informed me that there's a chance that certain formulas used by scientists to estimate the sizes of galaxies may require adjustments when it comes to the early stages of the cosmos. Why is it important that scientists find the solutions to this recent discovery? Understanding our place in the universe requires studying its past. Lombreed states, we need to study that path in the world around us depends on what it took to get to this world. Why Earth? Why is the Milky Way there? Why is the solar system there? A large portion of it stems from the universe's original inception. People seem to have been placed into the universe's jigsaw puzzle, and it constantly gets more confusing the more we research on it. To narrow down the possibilities and determine why these galaxies are so bizarre, a great deal more meticulous examination of these galaxies will be required. It's projected that JWST will stay online for up to 20 years, so there will be ample opportunity to complete it. Though they won't arrive soon or easily, the answers are only intriguing to the scientists who are looking for them. It's the unadulterated joy of discovery. Hopefully, we get the right answers soon. But for now, let us take a break from here as we go and join the researchers for more. To that effect, do not hesitate to drop your thoughts in the comment section, as well as hit the like and follow buttons to get more videos on science realities.